Hello, Russ, and anyone else who might be watching. My name is Derek Sten, and I'm going to move the mic right up here. My green screen's acting up a little bit today, probably because of the natural lighting right now. But we're going to be going over chord part one. It's been a lot of work, but let's get right, let's get right to it and get started. So we're importing a lot of stuff, uh, specifically the stuff for the RPC server that we had to do. Um, what we do, I declared some constants here. We, I declared the local host constant, which is the default host. I declared the default port, uh, which stuff is set to by default. And then the key size, uh, which is part of the code you gave us. Um, then if we go down the list, you know, we have a variable two, which is a big int two. Again, you gave that to us and the same with the hash mod. I have all the commands compiled up into a string right there. Um, we have the server. I have a variable that I use, a global variable that determines whether or not the server is online uh, for each individual instance. And then we have an array of messages compiled into a string. So that is the feed. Now, after that, we have a handler for the node. Um, we have a handler function for the node. We have a server um, server channel. And then we have a nothing struct. The nothing struct we'll be using later. Now, this is the node struct, and we pass in an address, an identifier, a list of successors, a predecessor, and then a data map. And the data map was, I commented here, we have to ensure that this map is working. Russ, if you recall the emails we were discussing, this was like my main issue I had with this, and what I've ended up spending the most time on. We have the init commands, we can go over that. We have a get local address, uh, get local address that uses the UP, grabs all that good stuff. Um, these are my comments right here. Now we have the start actor, which creates a, basically a new channel. Um, you gave, I remember you gave most of the start actor to us already. So in class, um, and then we have the, um, I had a little bit of trouble, but it, I got it to the point where it was like, Hey, we're getting inside here. These were just a couple of debug statements I had. Um, and then we call the state. Now that error I briefly mentioned was with my put. And it was returning a nil map, which was a problem. We couldn't just like stick stuff in it. And the reason why that was the case was one, I was declaring the node incorrectly. I was creating a node that wasn't the node right here. It wasn't an empty node. I was creating a node with some default values. And then the other problem was, is I was passing it in by reference, which I commented out here just so I could remind myself. It's like, yo, we're not passing in by reference. We're passing in by value. Once I switched that, it started working. Um, that was like the one little, two little things I had to tweak in order to get it to work after, which took me quite a long time to find. But, you know, I ended up finding it. Now, in the main, we state what the current address is. Again, I have a lot of, a lot of comments um, of things I realized I didn't actually have to use anymore. Um, so we keep going now. Um, we have the print usage, which prints what's being used at the current moment, prints the defaults and exits. Good stuff. Good stuff. Now the server, um, now the server will launch. It will set actors. It will launch. The, this is mostly with the RPC server right here. And then it's going to listen for TCP connections. And then that's essentially what it does. Now the client. We, this is where we pass in that nothing struct that we made at the beginning because we have structs, not classes, because Go is not object-oriented like Python is or C++. Um, then we have, um, I just have some things to call, um, more or less debugging purposes right here. We get the server, good stuff, good stuff. Um, and then we have the actual call. Now, what, we could, what we're going to do in here is we dial the RPC server. And, and the, the weird thing was I had to start over halfway through this assignment because I realized I was doing all the RPC stuff wrong. And then when I switched over to the RPC stuff, it looked completely different, which was honestly a real surprise. Now, we keep going. We close up the client when we need to. Um, we pass in the method request and response. And then the client go, goes for the call. And print that out. Stuff. Now the shell, we start up the interactive shell and I do need to update this. I just didn't bother, um, but it was, yeah, get post and then all of the others that are, uh, the help method is working. This is just in the case that it doesn't, or when it, when it by default launches, for example, I could just go in here 
and I can go ahead and launch it. And commands are getting posts, but if I type in help, we get help, port, quit, uh, create, ping, join, dump, put, get, and delete, which again, I, I, need, to, I need to legitimately update. Um, I can't just copy that over. Um, that's okay. I'll probably, I'll probably do that before I push this up to, to GitHub. Um, and yeah, I, or I might just comment that out for now, actually. And then I'll just make sure that, that goes um go build yeah show my show my code can compile um now oh uh, we create an empty node and then we use this, the buff io scanner we scan through each line um just like that we split it um we trim the spaces down now this is where the part where we start recognizing commands and start doing operations based off of them now for the help uh we essentially um hey if the server is online um then we call the help function in this case well the help command um and we say hey the server is calling help you know um and then um yeah and then i i had a lot of trouble i commented this because i had a lot of trouble identifying exactly what that underscore means but it's like a for loop my understanding of it is a for loop takes like can go takes like two values and the underscore means like hey we're just like going to ignore this variable we're just going to call it good um and we have the port which again it, it it takes the port and it sets it um and um we actually call that we have quit which just does a basic exit operation nothing fancy we have create which creates the ring itself um makes the successors which i had I, sw I had it at six and that caused an error so now i have it at five um because that worked a lot better um it worked better for me and we have the successors in the address we have the hash string um we make it um and then we i went ahead and created that node right here set the server to online because Hey, now we're online and remember server at online is our global variable right here and then we call the go, go routine on the server i believe i already went over that now in this case the ping the ping was tricky um ping is ping is tricky but it's like i had to build it right after i made create because nothing else was probably going to work without the ping being able to like actually get the servers to talk to each other and know that they're talking to each other uh in this case um get the rings to talk and so we keep going um, right here. We call the ping right here. We, um, yeah, and, and essentially the reason why we, I have two trashes right here is because we are sending and receiving nothing uh, simply due to testing the connection here. We're not actually sending. And then we return a success if we're successful. Otherwise, hey, we tell the user to turn on the server first. Put, put was my um the 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 one command that i had the most trouble with i had trouble with all of them but put in particular um i'm certain that those emails were pretty evident my questions in class as well um yeah we have it check for how many parts we have just make sure it has enough arguments right servers online uh da, 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 da. and then we say hey you know um number three is the actual address we're going to so so or or that's the fourth item that's the third index right so we're, we'll first say put that's number one, that's that's index zero uh we have the um the key which is index one and then the value which is index two and then the address which is index three right and um and then we grab that okay and then we put that there and then we inserted this inserted it that if that's not the case we turn on the server first now get um get does that whole spill um review our command line arguments um we grab it it takes three parts uh part two is i believe the address and then number one is the value or the no it's the key um my apologies and then we retrieved it and then otherwise we turn on the server this case it's very very similar hey we're composed of three parts we delete the thing we delete the thing whatever whatever uh please turn on the server first then we have dump um dump which essentially just prints everything out um 
gives us information address identifier node identifier right there we have this uh, prints out the successors as well then the predecessors and uh, and if that if the server's not online it asks us to turn on the server then we have join join was also pretty tricky um and so if we we instead of doing create because i'm going to be pulling up two terminals um we could do join to join onto another ring right and um so if it's the case that we're already online we shouldn't jo try to join another ring now um and let's see so we have the the default as five right and then we create the trash we create the id in this case and data um using the hash string functions that you gave us right so we grab the join uh well we don't grab the join but we execute the join there um and then we push our successors over and we join the new ring and then we set all set the node we set the server online to true because it's now online because it joined a ring instead of created one because it's an alternative otherwise it's like hey we don't recognize git and post uh and again i probably need to modify that and then uh that goes all the way down to here and then if there's an error there's a scanner error um then we have the help command I, okay so most of these commands are pretty similar um there's a couple little differences but most of these commands are pretty similar and um the format was taken from tweeter and so um we we set finish to the channel struct we do the s into the funct um the node and then we pass in the reference to reply which is the the array of strings right there uh we make it with a length of all commands and then we copy that pretty much and then we push over the struct over to finished and then i still never understood this why we did it this way i i don't get this because it, it's not sending it over to anything but it's required so maybe going over that in class would be really helpful and then we return nil because that's usually the default again these do very very similar behaviors like for example it's not grabbing the command all the commands here on the ping but it basically does pretty much everything else and in this case with put we just this is setting indexes right here uh with get it is doing um with get setting the reply to v which is the data message right here uh if that exists right and then get that uh, with delete, we actually execute the delete function, uh, which I believe is just built into Go. Um, and that's just the data based off the key. Then we have join, which sets a predecessor to the address. And then we have the hash string and the jump. Um, and the jump and the hash string were both co um, code that you gave us prior on the website. Yeah, let's run this stuff. So um, let's get right to it. Okay, so we I showed you go build, but I'll I'll do it one more time. Um, so it, it built successfully, and then I can I'm gonna go ahead and launch this on this side, and I'm gonna launch this on this side. So um, I've got to remember. Okay, so again we can launch help, and then what we're gonna do I'm gonna first set my port. I'm gonna set this port to 3410, and then I'm gonna set this port to 3411. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do create, um, and then I'm going to have this guy join on the other side. And so I'm going to do join. Um, I've got to remember how to do this, right? One, the eight dot one dot 60 dot, um, 34, 10. Yes. Yes. We set our port prior. Okay. We joined the ring. Okay, cool. So we can go ahead and do a dump right now. And we don't have any predecessors right now but what i can do is i'm gonna take this guy um this terminal over here i'm gonna put something in here um so your example you said to put the state of utah in here so i'm gonna do put state utah and then i'll type in the address which is 192.168.1.60 uh colon and then the port and then now it's inserted and then when we dump it it should show it now so now it shows the key uh the key of state and then the value of utah now so if that makes sense that's right there 
Um, now, I've got to remember exactly how I do get. Um, Because I, I tested it and then it worked and then I just like got to actually remember how I did it. Um, yeah, so it takes it takes three. Well, it takes two additional arguments. So if I wanted to get state 192.168.1.60. Uh, missing port and address. Oh, I just did that wrong. Hold on. 192.168.1. Those errors are working though, so that's good. Retrieve Utah. There we go. Now, um, what are the other commands I need to do? Uh, dump, put, get, delete. Okay, so ping. I need a ping. Let's let's just try a ping. One ninety two one six eight one sixty thirty four ten. Success. Cool. And then we can do a delete. Um, we'll delete. It takes in three. I'm assuming um, what I remember is that it takes in the key um, because, well, yeah, it's it's the key as opposed to the value. Uh, um, 192.168.1.60 colon r34 deleted key. We'll dump, and then it's gone. And and again, of course, I can dump over here. And then if I if I want to put more stuff in I could be like yo um put hello world at 192.168.1.60.34.10 and then dump and it's now now it's there with the key being hello and the value being world yeah <laughs> chord part one um it's been it's been a wild ride so um hope this is sufficient for you russ uh if you have any questions uh you let me know and i'll catch you on the flip side thanks